guys, it's Ryan here. Um, I'm actually just leaving the gym, headed back to work on a nice uh, rainy day in Minnesota. Um, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was training frequency. There was a question that came up in the GST press about training frequency. So it's something I just wanted to video blog about instead of type about. Training frequency is going to vary. You can be on a split where you have, you know, where you work one muscle group per week or not really per week, but let's just say per, per cycle of that program. And then you can also have um, a training split where you train each muscle group um, two times, sometimes even three times a week. My view is that uh, both work, both are excellent methods. It just depends on where you're at with your training at that time. Sorry, just coming up to a stoplight here. Uh, last time I had a stoplight, my phone flipped over. I had to start over. but. Um, so in terms of training, we're just talking about the one time a week versus two or three times a week frequency. One time a week is great. Um, it really allows you to just, you know, really smash that muscle group that, that day. Y you could be hitting one or two muscle groups that day, but you're not really going to go with three if you're training once a week. Um, you'd be in the gym for just too long, and, and anything over 45 minutes to an hour just tends to get a little too strenuous on the body anyways. I, I feel like fatigue starts to set in. Just, just general fatigue and your performance just starts to drop. So once a week is all about really hammering the body part. Um, a lot of times it's, it's going to be for somebody that's, that has some training experience under their belt, um, but that's not always the case. I mean, I've, I've started people out on training splits that, that were once a week just because that's what I felt that they could handle. Training, training a body part two or three times a week for them would actually just be too much. Um, so that can be taken both ways, really, and it all comes down to the individual. Um, so just talking about once a week, it's, it's really important that if you're going to do the once a week, that you really, really hit the muscle hard, um, and, that's, and that's what GSP tends to do. It's, it's focusing more on motions rather than just you know single muscle groups. So GSP tends to really hit that motion, that natural motion, really hard. Um, and then you need, you know, you're going to need multiple days of recovery. And, and a lot of people can tell that. There, there's been people that have tried to do GSP with too much frequency, and they end up getting overtrained even though they're just hitting that muscle group or that, that natural movement one time per week or per microcycle. So that, that is something important to think about. If you're really hitting it hard once a week, it's going to do the job. Now, if you want to go in there, if, if you want to hit the gym and do multiple times per week uh, per muscle group, that, that's a little bit different. You're not going to be smashing that that muscle group every single time. You're going to be using different, you know, different intensity levels, different methods. Typically, when people do that, it's more of a it's more of a strength geared program. And if you notice, like the volume is nice and low, they're in the lower rep range. It's heavier weight, but overall volume is, is low. It's maybe just you know three or three, four or five sets of three, four, five or six reps. So overall, pretty low volume compared to something like you know three or four sets of 15 to 20 reps, where the where the total poundage volume of the workout just really gets jacked up. Um, so that you know, that's what you see is a lot of the two or three times per week training splits are more about strength, and 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 you'll see that overall trend on the boards too uh, when people talk about that. A lot of people say that you know they're not getting a ton of size; that they really just gain a lot of strength, and then they'll be bulking too. So they'll actually like gain a lot of extra uh, you know extra fat with that too. And that's that's one thing that I really notice when I when I look at different forum threads. Um, talking about programs that are low volume, high frequency, and, and, and strength gear. So that's kind of like a double-edged sword there. It's, it's almost like if you're bulking and you're doing that kind of program, a lot of people tend to bulk hard because that's what that program tells them to do, and then they end up actually not happy with their physique. Um, and that's not to say, I mean, the, a, a two or three times a week full body program is not a bad program at all. It's actually, it's actually something that, that I recommend to people when the time is right. I like to actually milk a program for all it's worth. So I'll have somebody do GST, and sooner or later you're going to sell on GST. No, no program is, is going to last forever. I mean, you, it, you know, 
the designer tries to make it last forever, which is what I try to do with, with, with GSP, but sooner or later, you're just going to get tired of it. You, your body's going to get, you know, worn out, and, and you're going to start stalling on that particular method. So let's just say a person milks GSP for all it's worth. Uh, after that, you know, what are they going to do? They're not really just going to go into another once once weekly split. That, that really just wouldn't make any sense because it's basically the same thing that they were just doing. So the option is to go into a two or three time per week split. Um, and then, you know, when that's the case, they milk that program for all it's worth, and then they just jump back into another body part split, like the once per week GST style. And so in terms of, uh, you know, uh, the whole frequency debate, it's really just about trading off back and forth. Sometimes you're going to be doing two or three times per week, and then after that you're going to be doing the once per week. So it's really just about where you're at in your training at that time, uh, what, what your focus is, and I, and I just want to reiterate on the whole focus thing. Um, two or three times per week really tends to be about uh, gaining strength and low volume. I don't recommend two or three times per week high volume. It's just it's just a little bit too much to handle for uh, for your body. And then once per week tends to be more about um, higher volume per session, and just really trying to get some growth going. Um, and it's not as much about strength as it is about size. Uh, so there you have like my you know my initial thoughts on that, and. Um, uh, you know, maybe I'll type. Maybe you know, maybe I'll type a little bit up too, and we'll just see what happens um, with my answer. So, thanks a lot. Talk to you later.